images and words come to your mind when you hear the word church? Is it this? Or this? Or this perhaps? Maybe you thought of something else. The church is people. You and me, ordinary people. Saints and sinners all together. And there's a bit of saint and a bit of sinner in each one of us. When Jesus had finished his work here on earth, he sent out his friends to spread the good news of what he had done for us to the ends of the earth. He told us to love one another. He told us that when we help someone in need, we're doing something kind to him. The church is a community of followers of Jesus who are trying to help each other to do what he has asked us. People like you and me. And we're not alone. Jesus is walking with us on our journey. He promised us that. And every now and then, the members of the church need to stop and ask important questions. Just what's going on in the real world? What does God want us to do for people today? Do we need to change what we are doing to serve people better? How can we be the church that God is calling us to be? Many young people don't go to church that often, but many are still connected to the church because they go to Catholic schools, or because members of their family go to Mass regularly, or because they attend special celebrations like baptisms, first communions, weddings and funerals. Is it possible that the church might not be there to do such things in the future? Should the people who lead the church be offering something different so that young people can get to know God better and find help they might need? What should the church be doing in your neighbourhood? This is Archbishop Malcolm. He has the really difficult job of leading us in our lives as followers of Jesus. He has many important decisions to make in the years ahead. And he can't really make these on his own. In 2020, the church in our part of the world, what we call the Archdiocese of Liverpool, is holding an important gathering to try to find answers to some of these questions and many more. This gathering is called a synod. People of all ages and backgrounds, young people, married people, single people, priests together, will make up the synod. And that's a word that originally meant together on the road. Today the word synod means that all of us are involved Everyone matters and everyone's voice should be heard. The members of the Synod are going to spend two years listening to as many people as they can and listening to the voice of God to find out what God wants us to do and to make plans about how we do that. For now, we're asking some things of you. Firstly, pray about this. Ask God to help the church to change in a good way. To listen to what God might be asking of us to help people in the challenges they face every day. Be open to being part of our listening. We will be holding meetings for young people to listen to you and find out what you want and what you think about things. If young people don't talk, then the decisions that are going to be made might be the wrong ones. We need your voice and your ideas to be heard. And we ask you, follow the Synod on Twitter. Stay up to date, hashtag Synod2020. You're going to get a leaflet to take home. And we want people who live with you to be able to see it as well as you. So take it home. Leave it somewhere where it might get picked up and read and have a look at it yourself. Let's take a moment now to be still, to be quiet, to remember that Jesus is looking at you now and he loves you beyond measure. 
Just tell him whatever you want to. And know that he's listening. And so we place all the people, all the feelings, all the situations that you've been thinking in God's hands and ask for God's help in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus.